YouTube was oh hold on. Drew Crew was good, man. Welcome to the fifth vlog. Welcome to Side of YouTube. Welcome to Drew Two. I'm looking sensational, y'all. I'm kind of looking. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of tapping into my little potential egg last bit. But yeah, what's good, y'all? Welcome to the fifth vlog. You guys can see. Look at my nails, okay? Look at my hair, okay? I decided recently to just have like you know like a little self care day. So got my nails done. It's been a minute. Got my hair done. It's been a minute. We are gonna go take some fit pics today, okay? And I'm gonna take you guys with me. And yeah, also I want to let you guys know because everyone always asks me whether it's on TikTok or it's on Instagram, I will be doing a sneaker collection video. Even though I said I wasn't gonna bring clothing and sneaker content to YouTube, I'm necessarily not. I'm, I wanna show you guys my closet. I wanna show you guys what I'm wearing because I wanna incorporate fashion to this channel, but I don't want to necessarily be a quote unquote fashion content creator, you know what I'm saying? I'm just waiting on two sneakers and then I'm gonna just do a sneaker collection. I just wanna let y'all know though, that's coming. Okay, okay, this is the fit today, you know. These are my overpants, I'm dropping these soon for my brand. Um, the warmest colors, go tap in for real. Fit, you know, fit kinda cool today. And with that being said, let's just get into this vlog because honestly, no vlog ever goes the way I plan it. And I kinda like that, I kinda mess with it. The vlogs only get better. I feel like vlog number four, the last one, that one was a really good one. I feel like people like that. Hope y'all rock with me just like I rock with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's go up. I'm gonna show you guys how I take my Fit Pigs. The process behind it, everything, like just literally how I take my Fit Pigs. Now, I have to take Fit Pigs for my friend. This is not for my personal Instagram. This is not for me. This is for a friend. I have to go out and I have to take Fit Pigs today. And why not document it and make it into vlog content. So that's what I'm gonna do. I always have people like asking me like, do people take my pics or do I take them myself? And the answer to that is both, okay? Sometimes I have someone taking my pic and then sometimes I don't and I have to take it myself and it's the most like literally the most awkward thing on planet earth. And today I'm literally gonna do that. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Luckily, I'm that type of person where I always find a good spot with no one around. That's what we're gonna do. I'll be damned if I literally sit there in front of a crowd, set up a tripod, and just start going at it. My social anxiety, I think I would melt. I literally think I would just like, I'd be a puddle on the floor. These are the shorts my homie wants me to take a picture in. This is for his brand, Rare Youth. I'm gonna plug it right there, go follow the tap in. This color's pretty nice, I really like it. Let's go. Back up before I kiss you. No, but on the real, I'm gonna need y'all to go and follow me on Instagram, at Drew and Color, you know what I'm saying? Go tap into my fit pics. If you guys want proof on how good my fit pics be coming out, go tap in on Instagram. All right, so here is the fit. Now the camera is making these look crazy like, it's making these look way bluer than they are, but they're green. Everything cohesively goes and flows together here. It looks crazy on camera. It's probably because of ISO or something, but you guys will see the final product. As you guys know, I don't usually wear gym shorts, but regardless of that, we gonna throw something fiery. My boy really hooked it up with these shorts. Like, I also just want to let you guys know, even though the title may be something like how I take my fit pics or how to take fit pics, I don't know, something like clickbaity. Just know this is technically still vlog number five. This is not a tutorial video. This is not a how-to video. This is me vlogging my life. And today I'm going to take fit pics for my friend's brand. He asked me to do that and I'm gonna take y'all with me and we're gonna learn something out of it, but this is a vlog. All right, first step when it comes to taking pictures by yourself, when you have no one with you, you gonna need this, a tripod, and you're gonna need a clicker. Now, you can take pictures without a clicker, but you're always gonna have to be running to the camera and then running back and then running back. That is literal hell. You just need a clicker. You can get these for like five bucks on Amazon. And yeah, that's what you need. Those two. We have our fit. With that being said, now we grab our stuff. Oh, hold on. Cause I don't be walking around with this. That's real, 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 real awkward. perfect day to take some fit pics. It's like overcast, super overcast. So with that being said. Oh, it's raining. Hell no. Nah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I gonna do my hair straight? Can't do all that. Heck no. Yeah, we're gonna wait to see if it stops. I think it'll stop, honestly, like, it's, 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 what do they call that? Spotty showers or something? What do they call that? It's spotted showers? I don't even know. News reporter face that boy. Attempt two. 
Next thing we gotta do is find a line scooter. And I definitely found one right here. Cause no way I'm about to get caught in this rain. All right, so this is one of the places where I take my fit pics cause like nice, nice background and no one's ever around. You got the trees on one side and then you got the plain background on the other side. It's pretty nice. So we're gonna end the ride right here and I feel like this fit would look good against this background. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show y'all how I set it up and I'm gonna show y'all how I take my pictures. Prop it up right there. We got our clicker and basically when I click, it takes a picture. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I use to edit my pictures. All right, Drew Crew, what is up? We are back in the crib again. I have changed outfits. You guys will have to forgive me. I'm so sorry. I'm always changing outfits, and it gives the appearance that I'm going through different days. But sometimes, for the most part, these videos are all on the same day. I just consistently change the outfit. But we are going to edit this picture. So with that being said, I'm about to put my screen here. So you guys are gonna watch me talk to you and edit, and then my screen is gonna be on the other side of the screen with me. So I'm actually move over. So we are going to turn on the screen in three, two, one. Okay, you guys should be viewing my screen now. So right here we have one of the pictures that I liked, cool little fit pic, but as you guys can see right here, you know, it's a little bright around the, the sneakers and stuff. So I use Lightroom to edit. Now, if I use filters, I use Lightroom. Anytime I use filters in the past, like 2016, 2017, I used to use Visco. But Lightroom, where, like, Lightroom is where it's really at because it has like good healing features, it has good crop features, it has good preset features. You can use your own features, save them to your own library. You can use premium features, you can use recommended features to point you in the right direction. That's a really cool tab. So you have like subtle, strong, cool, warm, like it'll really point you in the right direction of what you want for your picture. Now, here are my presets. Please do not mind the names. I will name my presets anything I can think of on the spot. Like. But here are a list of my presets. I have 38, okay? I'm going through them really fast because I'm not gonna show you guys. Actually, I'll show you some of mine. So this one's this one's a pretty cool one. That one just toned the picture down a little bit. Gave it a nice little darker vibe, okay? Triple A, you saw the difference right there. That one's cool. Um, my moody filters. Oh, that one's way too dark. All those are way too dark. Not too shabby right there. So as you guys can see, I think I use this one was pretty cool. This one was pretty cool. But for the sake of like first time users and showing you guys, I'm not gonna use any of my filters. This is what I usually do. I'll go to exposure and I'll definitely lower the exposure. As you guys can see, that made the picture like literally like 100% better off the bat. 40% lowered exposure, okay, okay. Maybe like sharpen it a bit. Like I'll definitely like sharpen it. Um, some effects, sometimes I'll do a vision, uh, whatever you call that. And um, sometimes I will mess with the temperature the temperature y'all heard me stupid uh i'll raise the temperature like three percent like look at that right there that's a perfect look at that look at the way it looked before and now look at my filter that that's a filter right there i can literally save those presets so yeah this is what i use to edit this is um literally what i do let's take one more look at the before boo and the after yay but if you guys wanted to see some of my safe presets right here i got some cool ones Got that one, that one, that one, that one, this one, this one, this one. Some of them look good on some pictures and some of them don't. So it just depends on what picture I use for that filter. Because each filter here, I think, has been used for something or another. Because I never come, come on here for fun and just like make filters. Like it's literally for, for a picture. But yeah, with that being said, y'all, that is literally the editing process of my pictures. Um, that is going to close out this segment of the vlog. I will probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna continue vlogging my actual day. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna show you guys some production stuff, some things I do on the regular, some things I do for my brand. So I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Oh, before I catch y'all tomorrow, like the video. Like the video, okay? Like the video because I just really put y'all on. And I just showed y'all the process behind my fit pics. Like, come on, like the video. Thank you, like the video. Y'all just won't believe what just happened. 
So it's the next day, gang. What's up, Drew Crew? I decided I was going to go do some production stuff and I was going to take you guys with me because I love taking y'all with me. I'm starting to get more comfortable and y'all are interacting with me. Y'all are dropping comments. Y'all are liking, whatever. So we the gang. I'm going to take y'all with me throughout my day. But come on, gang. I come into the car. It's blowing hot air. It is the middle of summer and it's blowing hot air. <sighs> no, but for real though. My AC is shot. Like, my AC is uh, broken. And I feel like... um this is the curse of having a lowered car <laughs> i had a bad scrape and i kind of had a leak at the bottom and i've kind of been ignoring it and um i think that's where my ac went out the leak in the bottom so it's kind of my fault for not fixing the leak but i'm gonna get this all fixed as you guys can see i have my straight hair but like i'm not gonna lie we gonna sweat today so let's see how long she lasts to be honest but straightening my hair takes a long time so i don't know but whatever i'm just blabbering i have like no i'm literally sitting in this car and i'm just sweating like it's no ac nothing but with that being said i'm gonna still take you guys with me throughout my day because we gang we locked in you know what i'm saying i'm starting to get more comfortable filming too so like you know what i'm saying we kind of go suffer together because we in this together gang i kind of don't mind this hey this is a vibe it's like when you're driving it's not that bad you know i brought with this Okay guys, so the first place I need to head to today is my grading, marking, and pattern people. I just gotta pick up a pattern for a sample. I'm making some denim shorts for TWC. But yo, the shorts are gonna be like, they're gonna be hard, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. Okay, so if y'all don't know, this is a, um, this is a pattern for a sample that I'm making. I'm making some denim shorts for my brand. It's the first step of making an item of clothing, getting a pattern done. If you guys are wondering, a pattern is essentially is the piece of clothing broken up into different little pieces. You lay the fabric on top of the pattern, you cut out the pieces, and then that's when the sewers, you know, take those pieces and they sew them together. I'm gonna head to my label place. I'm actually really excited to show you guys the, the new tags. Hi David, how are you? Doing good. These tags are actually gonna be for like a theme collection that I'm dropping. Stay tuned for that. TWC is about to be like TWC. I'm telling you, the warmest colors. Everyone will know the warmest colors soon. One of the greatest cut and sew brands that are coming out of LA. I'm calling it now. It's hot, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This is the worst day ever. Look at my hair, bruh. It's hot. All right, but I'm at UPS real quick. It's hot, like, for real. Got to go pick up some zippers, some buttons to give to my sewers with the pattern and the fabric so they can put together the shorts. So we gonna go and I'm gonna go source some buttons, some zippers, some buckles, everything that the shorts need to be a pair of shorts. So I need a six inch zipper. And I'm gonna need this color right here. But let's see which buckle. Yeah. And what style? It's a whole, I'm telling y'all, it's a whole world to this. Like YKK, what style? Like, look at this. Everything's different. Sometimes my tattoos, like, they be breaking out. Do you see that? I swear, like, sometimes it itches so bad and it breaks out. Like, look at that. I don't know why. And it be happening randomly, too. Like, it, it, it's like my body be trying to reject the ink or something. This is like a year, like, years old tattoo. It's so weird and it's only on the tattoo. Smoking, smoking on exotic. The shit then got me fried. Bitch, you fuck the bruise. Yeah, the bitch, you fuck the guy. 